In the following video, we will learn to develop such a Java program that will run and send an email and another email client will receive it. To be more accurate, I've used Java Mail API of Java Enterprise Edition platform. If you are confident in your programming skill and have an access to a certain email server, you're good to download the source code I've used in this course. The link is in the description. No payment or registration is required. Downloads finished. Click this button. Here is it. Let's unzip the file. This folder contains all the necessary Java project files, which we are going to import into the clips. If you don't know how, I invite you to follow the complete version of this video. You can find a link to this complete publicly available video in the description area or maybe in a card at the top right corner. All right, this is the center part. Let's see what we've got here. This one sends an ordinary text email, while this one sends attachment and text. We can actually compare their differences. Select both of them. Right click, go to compare with, and each other. Then the differences will be highlighted here. Left side is the send email dot Java file. The right side is the other file, the one having something to do with the attachment. Double click on the tab to get a larger view. You can scroll through the file and notice the difference being highlighted. Okay, I'm going to explain the content of one of the source files. I'm going to close the comparison window. Let's see this one. It's easier. Alright, in the real world situation, you will be provided with an email server. You need to replace this by the IP address of your email server. You need to replace this port as well. This line should not change, as you are required to log in most of the time. Wait a second, let's get a larger editor. Moving on, this line specifies the login information, the user, the password, at the next few lines, you tell the program the recipients of the email. This is the sender address and has to be consistent with the login user. At the next line, we're attaching the recipients that we have specified above. The recipients can be 2 or CC or BCC. Remember, we're attaching the recipients. If we don't attach the recipients, Though we have specified them, the program will not do the job or throw an error. Then go to the email subject and email text. After all that, the program will send the email out, which is done by this line. However, before running the program, we need an email server and recipients who are able to receive your mail. If you are working in a company, you probably got an access to an email server this IP address and port you can ask your co-workers. Well, if you don't have an access to any email server, you can set up a simple one on a virtual machine, which can live on your own computer. If you don't know how, I invite you to follow the complete version of this video, a 25 minute long video. I'll teach you how to set up an email server that is designed exclusively for this lesson, and you don't have to be caught up in complicated installation and configuration of email server. I've already done the hard work for you. You can find a link to this complete publicly available video in the description area or maybe in a card at the top right corner. By the way, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Alright, this is a mail sender program that I'm gonna run. Alright, email sent. 
If we go to the Thunderbird, refresh the inbox, here is a new email from the Java program. From this to this. Actually, this is pretty much it. Well, besides all above, I also wanted to try out the other similar program. I mean, this one, the one having something to do with the attachment. Email sent. And here's the notification as well. Back to the Thunderbird. We can see the preview of the attachments. This is a preview of the text file attachment. Attachment 1. Attachment 2. Okay, apart from what we've covered in this video, I invite you to study the Java code of this lesson. Try with different senders. Try with more receivers. Remember to change this number. Try CC and BCC. Try different subjects and text. Try to remove or add more attachments. Figure out what this code does. That's it. Hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching. Peace.